Hey guys, Gray back again, and like I said in my last video, I'm going to do a review on the mask, and I do mean the Jim Carrey mask, like, I was not being, I was not making a joke, and literally that, this is 100% accurate to the actual design from the movie, every single detail, every single carve, even the wood. The only downside is it does have straps, but that's because uh, I asked for them because I did want to wear it for Halloween. So, but yeah, Jim Carrey, like this is one of the most powerful tools in DC Comics and in movies. It gives you the power to be whatever you are on the inside, but basically Looney Tune powers. So you could do anything. You get the powers of Loki, basically. A god who can literally do Looney Tune stuff and trick anyone. You could throw an you could actually paint a hole on the ground and then actually people could fall on it. That's just a small amount of the power. That's not even a lot of it. You could do basically anything. You could turn yourself into a tornado. You could literally stop a hurricane. You, there's even a TV series for this thing because of how powerful it was. But in the comics though, and if this actually worked in real life, it, and I'm not kidding on this, we would all die if someone actually had this in real life. Like, physically, if someone actually had a working mask, we would all die. Because it gives you the powers of basically a god. You could do basically almost, and I'm sorry if I'm using that word too much, you could do anything you want. Like, for instance, you could just stretch your hand out over the universe and give it a wedgie. I'm not even kidding on that. You could actually do that. How shocking would that be? Like, can you imagine what would happen if someone actually gave the whole universe a wedgie? Like, just one second, there's a giant thing of underwear in, that came out of nowhere from the sun. You could literally even stop time for a small amount. You could literally turn yourself into like a pack of ice cubes or roadkill on the side of the road and say, look, ma, because he actually did it in the TV series. Um, but in the comics, it was a lot more bloody and a lot more gory. Like, yeah, he still had the Looney Tune powers, but uh, yeah, um, the machine gun thing in the comics, every single one of those people died. I am not kidding you. Every single one of them died from a balloon-made machine gun. That's not being metaphorical. That's being literal. It was bloody and horrifying. He ripped off his own face at one po point just to scare the shit. Like, he put another man's face on top of his own. Oh, my God. That was bloody, gory, and it was scary as hell. And then there was even worse points. The Joker got his hands on the mask at one point. Because this was a DC Comics. And Lobo. Two of the most scariest motherfuckers in the universe. And I'm sorry if I'm swearing, but literally, the Joker had a nuke in the comics. It was about to use it on Harley just for a sick joke. And that's him being normal to a degree. I can't imagine what happened when, if the mask didn't, like, didn't get it back. What would have happened? Batman would have died. Everybody would have died. That's the worst part. Um, because Batman thinks logically. The mask does not let you do logic. It makes you go and be basically Looney Tunes. In which case, there is no logic. It basically makes you bend reality to however you so choose. Which, I gotta say, is awesome. To a degree. Yeah. The only downside is because of the straps, he said he could not add in the glow. So, yeah, no glow. It won't glow unless uh, it's actually on light. Yeah, it's not going to glow in the dark anytime soon. Um, kind of felt a little bit sad on that. And he did give me a rubber mask too for it 100 percent awesome though there is some downsides to it the type of wood that he did use it 
let's just say has drawbacks you do have to though he sent you me instructions for it too so um wait am i thinking of the same yeah i'm i'm thinking of the same guy i'm hoping i'm thinking of the same guy um so so you can keep it in prestige so none of the paint will chip no and insects won't get to it nothing because like i said it is wood it's not cheap plastic this is actually hand carved wood that is on another level like trust me i made wood masks when i was in wood shop when i was younger and um, look, the rain stopped i'm um, sorry about that but uh yeah let's just say it is hard trust me um especially ones that actually can be worn i made some let's just say my teacher probably thinks i'm a weirdo still even now mostly because i made a gladiator helmet i think i still have it somewhere but yeah i also sanded it so much that i almost broke it a few times but like I said, this is 100% cool. Though there are drawbacks if you did wear the mask. Like, for instance, it will squeeze tightly. Like, there is only a small area for the nose. And I do mean that. Like, for instance, it, it pushes down on you. Um, but, yeah. Like I said, 100% cool. They even have the Loki symbol on the top, which I love. But would I recommend buying this? 100%. It's one of the coolest things you could have for a prop. And you can actually wear it. But it will hurt, like I said. Because it pushes down on your nose. Because I'm thinking whoever made the movie did not think about the design of the actual mask ever being worn in real life. Because Jim Carrey was wearing makeup most of the time. And wax. For his actual part of the movie. Like when they were putting on the mask. They didn't actually show him putting it on. He just. They just edited it. But would I recommend it? Yes. 100%. Um, you can find this on Mercari. The guy's pretty easy to get in contact with. It, like all you have to do is search up. Hawkman Harness. Or any of the. Or Doctor Doom's. Um, cape. And like there's these little things that you attach to the cape. And they're just like. A, I can't remember what they're called. They're like um, breastplates that hook onto the cape. Um, or search of spawn belt because he also makes those and a few other things. The guy is somewhat cheap and not cheap at all, but it is 100% worth it. I bought this for 25 bucks, totally worth every single penny, plus the shipping. But he's pretty. Uh, like good guy he'll give you updates delays and everything 100 awesome but i do hope you guys like the video and subscribe have a nice day bye